everyone. Okay, I'm doing a review of a product that I tried years ago, long before I was vegan. Um, this happens to be vegan, and it's also a nut-free peanut butter. Now, I picked some up the other day because I work on film sets, as some of you know, and I work on the show Designated Survivor. Maybe I'll put a little clip of me in here <laughs> in the video um, from last season. But, um, one of the actors has a nut allergy, so we're not allowed to have any nuts on set. I work as an extra slash background performer, and typically you've got peanut butter and bread and stuff on set. And I saw someone bring their own uh, soy-based peanut butter to set. He found it for a dollar. I tasted it, didn't really love it so much, but I thought, what a great idea. I can bring my own to set. So essentially, I'm just going to do a quick review of this. You've got 4 grams of protein, 0.5 grams of omega-3. This is the creamy one. They also had a crunchy one. I think the crunchy one has, like, hard pieces of, uh, soy in there. I tasted his, didn't love, love it. Um, but I remembered really liking this. And I'll give you the ingredients here. You've got toasted soy, soy oil, granulated cane sugar, monoglyceride from palm oil, sea salt. Okay, and that's it. Um, it's vegan. See, they've got the nice vegan label there. I'm not even sure if they said that, like, years ago. You know, this is the year of vegan, and more companies are pointing out when things are vegan for you. So the nutrition facts for every tablespoon, you've got 100 calories. I think that's more than peanut butter. Can you see that, the, the way the lighting is? Uh, you've got 12 grams of, no, sorry, 8 grams of fat, 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 4.5 grams of polyunsaturated fat, uh, 3.5 grams of omega-6, 0.5 grams of omega-3, zero cholesterol, uh, it says 2 grams of monounsaturated fat as well, I guess. 50 milligrams of sodium, so not too bad. 4 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, which is much better than regular peanut butter. 4 grams of protein. You've got no vitamin A, no vitamin C, no calcium, but you do have 4% iron. And I'm just going to open... What I like about this is they also provide school-safe labels. Once my daughter brought some to school when she was younger, and one of her friends was like, I'm allergic to peanut butter, you can't have peanut butter! But I'll show you what it came with at the time, because I just kept this container. And that's what it looked like before, so I had taken a taken the label and just stuck it on this thing. And also says they're safe for school, 100% peanut and nut free, and it has stickers. So people know that even though it looks like peanut butter, tastes like peanut butter, it's not peanut butter. It says here also it's 2016 National Parenting Product Award winner. I'm working tomorrow on set, so I had this in my car and I thought I should just do a review. I'm going to just... Open this lid. So, I mean, I mean to smell it. it. smells like peanut butter. To look at it, it looks like peanut butter. And let me just taste it. Because I have not had wow butter in years. As I said, I had this no-name brand that the guy had on set. So, that's what it looks like. I unfortunately do not remember the name of the one he had, but this one is much better. It's like really, his was creamy too, it just had a taste um, that I didn't fully, fully like. This has a slight, like, aftertaste, but like that first taste really hits you and you're like, oh, that's peanut butter. Yeah, it's really good. This was $3.99. Um, maybe it has a slightly, I would say, and hard, it's hard to describe this, it's not overwhelming, but a slightly grainier, but very mild, like sort of like a grittier mouthfeel after, after bite kind of thing. It's like smooth, but like it's got that slight little grittiness to it, but when I say slight, I mean just very slight. It doesn't really matter. You can have this on crackers, you can have it with jam, and if your kids need to have something, or anyone you know needs to have something without nuts, Wild Butter is a great spread. I assume lots of people know about it already, but since I bought it, I figured I would do a review. That's all for now, guys. Any questions, please hit me up. But uh, thanks for watching. Okay, I've just taken the Wild Butter and I put it in my car, but the other great thing about me having that on set is they've decided to replace peanut butter with Cheese Whiz. Obviously, as a vegan, I'm not eating any Cheese Whiz. I find this stuff disgusting. Even <laughs> before I was vegan, I thought Cheese Whiz was gross. Um, so, you know, I bring stuff that I can eat, so that would be great for me, plus I bring like my own coffee creamer, and I'm good. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.